Hey guys, we're gonna part 41. Let's play Legend Zelda the Minch Cap brought to you by GameOne.com. Time to solve another puzzle. It's gonna give me another key. I don't know if I have the right solution, but I'll give it a shot. I think I made these a little too big. I think if I just pick the corners instead of a cross. I think that would have done me much better. See? There. That's how you solve it. Okay, I wanna get up there and get the key. And no wizard is gonna stop me. There. down here. I'm gonna check. I bet you more bar more arrows and bombs. Let's take a look anyway. Oh great, a couple get those. Just in case I fell down that hole. But that didn't help. It was just an empty room with mummies. Oh well, I guess I get out of here and go for the last key. I mean, so far I'm not having any problems here. A lot of people saying like this is gonna be hard as hell, but here I am, I'm kicking ass. I have to go around the other side. I don't do that then. There. I'm not gonna bother catching in these keys yet. I'm gonna wait till I get the fourth one. There we go. Now it's go time. Oh, he hit me through the torch. Okay, that's one. Hey, he just stood there. Idiot. Okay, so what is for this uh, light that went in the way? I could have dispatched it much easier. Hopefully I'll get a much more open room. I guess I gotta do something with these. So that I don't get lit myself. There! That was easy. I won't be needing this anymore. There. Just like the ghost from Zelda 1, like I said before. Now I can get the final key. There, that's all four. Perfect. Now let's get the big key. And I know where it's to. So let's do this. Well, I didn't get every treasure here. I still didn't get the map. But it looks like I didn't really need it. Just in case I need to peel up. Uh, Get out of here. Okay, let's use all these. Now, I need to push this. I know what I need to do. There we go. Now let's push this out of the way. Yay, I got the big key. Okay, let's teleport. Take the red one. This will get me to the boss door much faster. Okay, in case something goes wrong, I'm gonna do an end game save. There, now let's go. <laughs> you are persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so you've come to stop my little ceremony. Well, you're too late. A mere three more chimes of the bell will bring the ceremony to its end. And with the third toll of the bell, I will become like a god. And your precious pr Princess Zelda will be nothing more than cold, dead, stone. There's no time, quickly! Link, move to the roof! Okay. Oh, great, a ball and chain enemy first thing. Luckily, I don't even have to fight it. Oh, there's a the bell. There are only two times left! Yes, I get you, let's go. Take out these key enemies, they're just gonna be in the way. There, that's every single one of them. I think one of them fell down the pit. And probably died anyway, because I did hit him. Gotta be fast. This 
Especially in this room, the next one. I'm not sure you're gonna, what's gonna happen. Another bell is told! Just one more time, and all our work will have been for naught. And here's the worst part. Even though there's no time limit, this is timed. That means after like three minutes, the bell will ring, and it's game over. So you have to take out these three dark nuts as fast as you can. Thanks for the spin attack. This will make this a little bit less painful. Bombs will help too, but they only stun the dark nuts, which you can use to your advantage, mind you. But, you know, I'm not gonna bother. Aw, I can't. Oh, I did kill it. Alright, this is it. Stop the ceremony. <laughs> Just a few more moments, and the ceremony would have been complete. You really are obsessed with stopping me, aren't you? Ah, very well. I have not yet drained all of the Light Force housed in Princess Zelda, but what I have should suffice. I shall be transformed! Unstoppable! But let me first attend to the pesky worms who are trifle with me. Huh! Oh, you created a hole. That's not good. Alright, now what? We're trapped. Oh, you're gonna fight me yourself, huh? I'll have no more of you interfering with my plans. Let me show you true power. Alright, final boss. Well, final of three forms. This is the first one. Okay, this kind of reminds you of Patra from Zelda 1. You have to take out these little eyes first. And as soon as you take out the eyes, you can actually attack his vagina eye, pretty much. Now it gets a little bit more complicated because you got four now. But it's still the same battle. Once they all go back in this form, it's going to create a little black hole. You can use the gust jar to suck it up. Or you can just roll to dodge it. I prefer rolling. Watch out for the fire because it will burn and eat your ass. Just keep hacking at that eye when it's open. After a while, it's going to have a little bit of barriers around each of these eyes. But not yet, of course. Because if you get burned, you're going to get chased around and start running all the places at random. Apparently Link does not like hemorrhoids. Okay, after a while, he's going to create a little bit of a shroud. You need the gust jar for that. He's going to start teleporting all this place, which is very annoying. But I like the music, though. It's really dark. There, that takes care of all the shroud. Okay, uh, I get to that eye before it closed again. Come on, come on. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's a resilient one, I'd say, that body. I hope that there's a new... There's probably gonna be a new Zelda game for the Wii. I hope Body gets featured in it. Even if it is Adult Link. That is the main hero. Like, bring Body back to take on Adult Link and see how he fares. Ah, my ass! There, I got another fairy. I mean, so far I'm not having a lot of trouble. Stop teleporting everywhere. Just stand still. Stand still. Okay, now you're pissing me off. There! Damn! Well, you seem to have some fight in you. I commend your bravery. But you will not survive this! Okay, now it's time for a second phase. I am filled with a power that you cannot begin to understand. Do you think the puny sword will save you from me? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. What is it with Zelda boss's obsession with eyes? Okay, now he's gonna have these little eight orbs around him. You have to find the orbs that are red and open. Then you gotta split your into clones and attack these eyes at once. Don't even bother cloning if you know he's going to shoot these energy balls. Like, the real body cannot even hurt you. All he does is knock you back. It's his attacks that'll hurt you. Like, you know, those purple things that will scare all across the floor and his energy balls. I'm gonna add these pretty easy. You gotta use your arrow to find out which ones are the four pods you gotta attack. Luckily, if you destroy these little purple things, you can actually get hearts and, more importantly, arrows. 
ridiculous. Okay, at least I know where the other two are. Process of elimination. It's very annoying in this game. Remember, those energy balls attack the clones. You will get hurt too. That means some kind of magic. Oh, that didn't do too much. Jeez. Gotta watch out for the debris, of course, too. What is it with bosses and debris? Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and next where we finish this battle.